I went to an estate sale last weekend and I found these. Would you buy these from an estate sale? <laughs> all I could think of when I bought them was, I have to put succulents in them. That's all I could think of. So I bought them and now I'm buying succulents to plant. And I want to show you guys how to do it. You guys keep in mind that you got to keep that open mind when you're at yard sales or thrift shops or whatever about what something else can be. And these are going to be planters for me today. So let's plant them up. As usual, you need your pea gravel, succulent soil, succulents, and then our Spanish moss to top it all off and finish up the project. Um, when I went shopping for my succulents, I made sure that I got various um, textures and colors to make it an interesting arrangement. We've talked about that before, so you can reference my old videos on that. Um, and uh, also I asked, um, I actually ended up selling these. I put them on my social media and someone has already purchased uh, this that I'm about to do. And so I was able to ask them, Are, do you want to lay these flat? or do you want to hang them up? And they said, we want to lay them flat. So that will determine how your pea gravel goes in. If we are gonna hang them like this, we put that pea gravel straight down and build up from there. But since they're gonna be flat, we're just gonna lay, lay everything that way and compose, um, I say compose like we're like creating a piece of art, but that's kind of what it is. So we're gonna pour our pea gravel straight in and like push it down into the toe. And we're doing this because this does not have drainage holes in it and we're not gonna drill drainage holes. We're gonna let it, we're gonna let it be what, it's, what it is and let this um, pea gravel hold the water if it needs to. But you know, succulents barely need any water so these really should never be wet. All right, so we've got our pea gravel in. Then we're gonna add our succulent soil, which I don't have a cup, so I'm gonna use my hands. And really you don't need all that much because these succulents that I have in containers here, they come with quite a bit of soil already in them. So I'm really gonna shove a lot of the soil back into the toe so it fills up that space. I'm gonna do our second one. The cool thing about this is we're getting two planters super quick together like this. It doesn't take much at all. All right, we're spreading toward the back. Okay, so you guys can see here now we've got um, you can't see the pea gravel anymore because it's covered by the soil and we've put the soil back down into the toe. So from here, we're gonna add our plants. And what I wanna do is, it's kind of, you can see it's kind of higher here and we're lower at the back, you can see here. So I'm gonna add a taller succulent here and then shorter ones toward the back. So kind of use whatever um, container you have to create, you know, a composition that makes sense. Oh, we got a bonus succulent in here. All right. So we're gonna stick that one in there like that. You wanna burrow down just a little bit. Stick that one in there. We've got this one, it's got a little bit of like a pink and purple color to it and little rosette shape. We're gonna pull a little bit of dirt off that. Stick that in there. And remember you wanna play with those heights too. So, so far we've got a little taller, we're working a little shorter, and then on this side, I'm gonna try to make this one super short so you've got that tiered look. You know, we like our three different heights, tall, medium, and short. And only three pl plants fit in here. You don't have to get crazy with the amount, and sometimes even just one little plant is enough to make it look beautiful, a container look beautiful, and really just highlight um, the canvas, if you will, of what you're doing. All right, so now that these are in here, you kind of just push them down into that new succulent soil that you have and push them together so that they create that little composition you guys can see here. And now we're gonna add that Spanish moss. Um, you can water these in their little containers before you start out, or you can water them after. I'm gonna water these after, after we get our um, Spanish moss put on top, but remember, they do not require a lot of water. So this whole composition probably requires like an eighth or a quarter of a cup of water, and then that again in about a week and a half, two weeks. Like it's super, super small amounts of water that you need um, to make these things grow. And as far as sunlight is concerned, um, you may be able to see here at my table, this is the perfect spot for my succulents and it's actually on the north side. It gets bright sunlight because we have our pool back here. It lights bright sun, but not direct sun. It's like an indirect um, bright light. All right, so I'm almost finished with my Spanish moss here. I still gotta do the other one. 
Okay, and I'm gonna shove it also. So you guys can see I put it all the way around the sides, but I'm also gonna put some right in the middle because there's gonna be a little gap in there where the, the soil is still exposed. We wanna make sure that that is looking finished as well. And if you want to, you can tuck in all the little stray pieces to neaten it up. You can leave them out a little bit if you like it a little more loose look. Dust off the shoes, and there you go. That's that. All right, so it's all planted up. Every, all the Spanish moss is in its place. I'm gonna get working on this one, but you guys can see, it's its whole composition. It's just so cute by itself. You can put it on a table, you can give one to a friend. If you've got two like I do, if you don't wanna keep both, if it's too much, um, place them opposite each other like this. There's just so many things that you can do. So be creative with it. And guys, if you're not already subscribed to this channel on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, please do that right now. Subscribe and like, because it's super important to me. Otherwise, you guys get out there and do some estate shopping, estate sale shopping, and get some fun stuff to make planners out of.